How's it going everybody? Landon here from Curtis Outdoors and welcome back to another video. Today, I will be showing you guys the simplest and most effective way to catch tons of catfish. Let's go. All right, so here is the spot that we are going to be fishing at today to try to catch these catfish. We have a nice little creek right here. I've caught some pretty big catfish out of here in the past, so I'm hoping that we can catch some today. All right, so the rig that we're gonna be using for these catfish today is super simple, but also very effective. All it is right here is a little hook. I like to use a size two or size four hook, but it really depends on the size of the catfish you're gonna be targeting. And then about six to 10 inches above that hook, you put a nice little split shot weight right there. Okay, so the bait that we are going to be using for these catfish today is hot dogs, a super simple bait. You can buy them pretty much anywhere and they work very well for catfish. All right, so this is how you rig up a hot dog on your hook. All you do is you take a little piece off of it, just like this, and you wanna thread it right through the skin so it doesn't come off as easily. And there's your bait. All right, so this right here is a rod holder, a super useful tool for catfishing. All you do is put it into the ground and lay your rod right up against it, and it can help you detect bites and so your rod doesn't get pulled into the water from a fish. All right, so we're going to put our rod holder into the ground right by the bank, just like that. For catfish, I like to cast around deep holes and structure in the water. That's where you'll find the most fish. I know that there is a sunken tree in the water, so we're going to cast right by it, just like that. And now we're ready to fish. Just gonna put my rod right up against this rod holder right here and now we wait for the bite as you can see after we cast out i like to keep my line pretty tight right here with not much slack so that i can detect when i get a bite much more easy right now we are fishing this rig on the bottom but another very effective way to catch catfish is by using a float or bobber with this rig i've caught plenty of fish that way too Right now the time is about 6.30 in the afternoon, but my favorite time to catch catfish is probably right after the sun sets because catfish tend to feed at night more often. Alright, this bait's been out here for about 20 minutes, so I think I'm going to check on it real quick. Oh, my bait's gone. I'm thinking that was probably crawfish because I saw some small taps on it. Alright, got a new bait on there. Let's try to catch some fish now. Alright, so I've been fishing out here for about an hour so far, and we've not landed any fish yet. I've had a couple small bites, but we were not able to catch anything. It is getting a little bit later, so hopefully the action should start heating up here soon. Alright, so as you can see, it is getting pretty dark out, so I think I'm going to set up a couple of lights so that we can see better. Alright, so we got a lantern down there, we got the headlamp on. I think that we're all set now. Alright, I think that we got a fish on here. The line just got super slack all of a sudden, so I'm going to check it, see if we got anything. Yep, got one. There we go. Oh, that's a nice one, too. And got him. Look at that. This right here is a little yellow bullhead. I want to be careful of their fins when trying to grab them because they got some spines on them. There we go. Check that out right there. That is our first fish of the night. A beautiful little yellow bullhead. Not a very big one, but still a lot of fun to catch. Look at that right there. First fish of the day. And there he goes. Alrighty guys, so it is now the next day. Yesterday when I came out here, the bite was pretty slow and we were only able to catch one catfish, but we're back out here on the same creek and hopefully we'll be able to catch some more today. Alright, I think that we might have a fish on here. The line just got super tight, so we're going to check. Got something on here. Oh no, it's off. What was that? That thing felt huge. Could have been a huge channel catfish. Oh, that's too bad. Alright, so I got a new bait on there. Let's cast it back out there and hopefully we get a second chance. Alright, I think that we got a fish on here. Yep, there we go. There's one. Oh, it's a little guy. I will take it. Check that out right there. That is a little yellow bullhead catfish. Not a big one at all, but still a lot of fun to catch. Really cool looking fish too. Look at the colors on him. That's awesome. Nice little fish right there. And he's back. Well, that was pretty cool. That was our first fish of the day and our second fish of the video, a little yellow bullhead. I know that all we're catching here are bullheads, but there are also some really big channel catfish that live in this creek here. I've caught them before and this rig right here works very good for them. So hopefully we can catch one of those today. There we go, that's a fish. There's another one right there. Another little yellow bullhead, look at that. 
Check that out right there, another little yellow bullhead, about the same size as the last one, really cool little fish. Oh, <laughs> and there he goes. All right, I think we got another fish on here right now. Yep, got him. A little better one right there. Seems like the action's starting to heat up. Every single time I drop it in, about five minutes later, we've already got a fish on. Another little yellow bullhead right there. Oh, <laughs> and just slipped out of my hands, there he goes. A good way to tell if you have a fish on your line while catfishing is if your line is either super tight or slack. If your line is tight, that means the fish is running out with it, and if it's slack, that means it's running towards you with it. I think that we got a fish running with it right now. Yep, got him. That's big. What is this? That is a huge fish. Whatever it is. Oh, it's a turtle. You got a turtle on here. That's the only problem with catfishing. Usually catch a lot of these guys. That's a big snapping turtle right there. Don't want to mess with this guy right here, so I think I'm just going to pull my line until it comes off. Alright, got it out. There we go. Now we can get back to fishing. That's funny, that snapping turtle bent my hook up like crazy. I think we gotta get a new one now. Alright, we got a new hook and a new bait on. Let's get back to fishing. Alright, I think that one's running with it right now. Alright, here we go. Got him, there we go. Oh, that's a nice one. Whoa, look at that. It's our biggest of the day for sure. And got him, wow, look at the size of that one. Look at that right there, really nice fish. This is probably our biggest of the day. I'm not exactly sure if this is a yellow bullhead. This might be a brown or black bullhead. Really cool fish either way though. Let's get him right back in the water. Nice little fish right there. And there he goes. There we go. And another one right there. Almost as soon as I drop it in, we're catching fish now. Another little bullhead. See you, bud. I think that we've already got a fish on here. Just casted it out. Yep, got him. Cast after cast. I believe that that is fish number six of the day. The thing that you want to watch out for on these catfish are the fins, because they can spine you really bad. These two fins right here on the side, and this one on the top, those are the ones you want to watch out for. There we go. And another one. Another nice one right there too, look at that. Look at that right there, really nice looking fish. I believe that this is a black bullhead right here, probably our biggest of the day too. Awesome. See you bud. That's a fish. Little bullhead. Look at that, another little bullhead right there. We have not yet caught a channel catfish today, but these guys are still a lot of fun to catch. See you bud. There we go. And another one. Every single cast doesn't even take five minutes to get one. That is awesome right there. Another really cool looking fish. And he's back. I think that we've already got a fish on here. The bait literally just hit the water. Yep, got one. As soon as I cast it out, this guy bit. Oh, that's a big one. Whoa, that's a monster. That is a monster right there. And we got him. Wow, look at the size of that fish right there. Wow, look at the size of that bullhead right there. That's by far our biggest one of the day. Really cool looking fish. Fought super hard too. That's awesome right there. Really nice looking fish. And there he goes. Alright, so I just had a really big take on this rod. He's running with it right now. I'm gonna set the hook now. There we go. Got him. Whoa, that's a big one. That's a really big one right there. Oh my gosh. And got him. Wow, look at the size of that fish. That might be our new biggest one of the day right there. Look at the size of that one. Barely hooked this guy right in the bottom of his mouth. That is awesome. Look at that. That's probably our biggest one of the day. I'd say he going around maybe three quarters of a pound. That is so cool. See you later, buddy. Well, anyways, that just about wraps it up for today's video. I know that I had a ton of fun coming out to this creek and teaching you guys how to catch catfish. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time.